This is Stephen E., your book coach and the bestseller guru, and the guru is within you. So today is what we focus on expands. So the key is, my opinion, if you want to write a book and sell millions of books, you have to focus on that. You can't focus on all the little details about like putting the book on create space and, and Ingram Spark and all the different categories and everything that goes into the book. You can learn all about that kind of stuff, but you think like, I don't know, just say like someone like Stephen King. Does he know about all that crap? No, he doesn't. So the key is you have to hire people to go out there and do that for you. Now, if you don't have the money and uh, yes, go out and learn how to do it. Or if you're passionate about doing all that kind of stuff, go out and do it. But doing all that kind of stuff, is, it's never ever gonna sell many books. Yes, you have to have that foundation set up and you have to do that. You have to have a great website. You have to have the keywords and all the Google search engines. You have to do all that stuff. But what I'm saying is if you get caught up in all that little stuff, then you'll never go out there and share your true purpose in life. You think like Gandhi or Martin Luther King, they knew about the little details? No, they just shared from their heart. You know, I just heard something but by a neuroscientist uh, and it was very powerful. He said that uh, they asked like a whole bunch of people about would you rather have happiness or wealth? And his name is uh, Mark Rosenberg. Uh, he worked with John Astroff, which is a legend too. And I want to give him credit because I thought about this and this is powerful. And 98% of people said they'd rather have happiness rather than wealth. Okay, let me just share on that. If you're a wealthy person right now, I'm talking about you have abundance, you could do anything you want anytime and you're not happy, then guess what? You need to focus on happiness and find happiness, okay? But what I'm saying, if you've done all the self-help, you've been meditating and chanting and going to church and all that kind of stuff, and you're a pretty happy person. It's always about really finding this happiness. Well, the key is, I love this statement. If you focus on wealth instead of happiness, and you bring wealth into your life, then guess what? You can bring more happiness because you can go and get a massage every week. You can get chiropractic. You can start eating all the superfoods, high energetic, organic foods, which you should be eating. And you can have money to do what you want. You can hire a whole crew of people, a boatload of the people. So if you focus on money, then that's the power. Because if you're already somewhat happy, money in your life is gonna, I guarantee you, you're gonna do more things. You can spend it, you can give it out. And again, if it's only about you, you'll never make it. If it's about maybe making more money because of your family or a bigger cause than you, then focus on making money. Focus on selling millions of books. Just think, what if you hit 50 million books? Your book, yes, your book was a hit. It was a hit and it sold 50 million books. And you got like a big, big check for like a hundred million dollars. What would you do? So focus on if you're already a happy person or you're somewhat happy, focus on money and selling your books and getting out there. You know, I have a, a mentor and he was a huge mentor in my life. He said that his whole office, and he sold more books than most people on the planet, and he was one of the biggest guys out there. Then he realized it was all about his ego and he sort of went underground. And his name was bigger than, just as big as Deepak Chopra or Wayne Dyer's. But you know, one thing he said that he had this whole office and everybody that worked for him were all on purpose. And every day they're thinking about purpose, purpose, and money was coming in, but not what he wanted. So he told his whole, whole office, he's like, you know what, stop thinking about purpose. Everybody that works here is all about giving a purpose. When I call in, I wanna hear how much money we're making, how much money are we making? So everybody start focusing on more of the money, and then they started selling more and more books and they did it naturally. That's who they became was purposeful giving people. So what I'm saying, don't get caught up in all the little details, everything. Hire an assistant, somebody maybe next door for seven or eight dollars or ten dollars an hour. You got more, pay them more. Hire somebody to do all the little detail stuff. You stay good and you stay focused 
on what you're good at and go out there and share your purpose, share your calling and share millions of books out there. So that's what I want to share is focus on your true intention. Don't get caught up in all the little tiny details. You can know about them, but you don't need to go in there and, and spend your next four hours trying to figure out all this computer stuff. If you don't like it, if you love computers, then do it. Be it passionate. Go help other people do that. But if you don't hire people. So if you want to know how to set up an hour coaching call, and on this hour coaching call, we will set up a, a call and I'll tell you how to raise money, how to make a New York Times bestseller, how to make Amazon bestseller. And when you come out with a detailed plan of how to build your business, go to bestsellerguru.com and let's sign up for our coaching call and uh, just click on it, coaching call, and uh, let's have a one-on-one -on -one coaching call and let's go from there. So if you like this video, you share this video with your friends, family, also subscribe to it down below. And, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up. All right, have a good day or good night. Bye-bye.